our next counter, countering the poxile with the clinch. Now I want to counter his poxile with my poxile. So let's revisit. The first one we did, he pops and I lock with my right hand and I reach with my left. Right? With this one, he's going to pop and I'm going to pop and I'm going to reach with my right hand. Boom. And then I move further with my second hand to secure the clinch. Right? Here it is again, nice and slow. When he pops, I pop and I pull him in here. Right? So pop the pop. Pop the pop. Revisit the first one, pop the lock. But this one, we're going to detail out the pop to pop. He pops, I pop. Now notice, move. Now notice, his pop side becomes gum side. So it's pressing hand. So when I'm here, because he's reaching, ideally he's reaching for the clinch, but I've stopped his other hand. So now his body is moving forward and it's putting it right in range for my right hand. Okay, so now, a little bit faster, when he pops, I pop, and then I shoot straight across with my right hand, and then I come across with my left. Pop the pop, and then I shoot, shooting my hand, not shooting for a takedown, right? Just to get you aren't confused. But I'm jutting my hand straight out. Well, not jut, but it's moving quickly. How about that? So, <laughs> he pops, I pop. Right hand, left hand. Pop the pop, right hand, left hand. Get this from another angle. Second counter for the poxile while using the clinch.